Now, the general weather around Alaska. Welcome to Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Monday, February 10th, 2025. And if you'd like additional weather information on top of what I give you in this YouTube video, you can go to weather.gov. That is the National Weather Service's online presence. It'll bring you to a map of the continental U.S. And if you point and click anywhere on this map, you'll get a very specific forecast for any location in the nation, plus any important watches, warnings, or advisories. And also you can find Hawaii, Alaska to the lower left, and then tabs for the territories. But I wanted to point out on this map that as of this Monday afternoon, we have uh, two winter storm systems. The first one moving kind of quickly here through the uh, especially uh, lower Ohio, eastern Tennessee Valley into middle Appalachia around uh, West Virginia and Virginia. There'll be a combination of some heavier snow and perhaps even freezing rain in some of the valleys there. That's a quick moving system. And then a secondary, actually uh, wetter system that's going to have more in the way of moisture to work with. Heavier snowfall, winter storm warnings, northern Kansas into northwest Missouri. That includes Kansas City, 5 to 10 inches of snow. That'll spread into Chicago Wednesday afternoon and evening with 5 to locally 10 inches of snow and then up into central lower Michigan. In the wake of that second system, bitter cold air, there are uh, what we call uh, extreme cold warnings for North Dakota and uh, back into Montana for wind chills as cold as 50, 55 below zero. Here in Alaska, we're not dealing with extreme cold, though. Strong area of high pressure will hold over northwest Canada this week. It's going to kind of shift around, re-intensify, weaken a bit, but it's going to be there. And then way out to the western Aleutians, there is a deep low down near 940 millibars as of this Monday morning, but it's coming up in pressure and heading west toward the Asia coastline. Strong winds, though, will be across areas of southwest Alaska, the peninsula, uh, YK deltas down across the Bering Sea into the Aleutians tonight into at least uh, Wednesday. And then coming up, we have the full snow moon of February, early Wednesday morning before 5 a.m. Alaska time on the 12th. So this afternoon, we have some light snow, a little blowing snow around Nome, 29 degrees. But look at King Salmon, gusty winds as you go down across the YK deltas. Uh, this mostly cloudy skies, windy conditions, and temperatures as warm as a balmy 46 degrees. King Salmon, Dillingham under partly sunny skies. As we go into the east central interior, Fort Yukon clear 15 below, but not exceptionally cold for this time of year. And then over the panhandle, thanks to that high pressure over northwest Canada, clear skies, light winds 34 degrees. So we have the most active weather that continues to be here along the west coast, extending out especially the lower portion of the Alaska Peninsula into the Aleutians. So we have a high wind warning in effect now through this Monday night into mid-morning Tuesday. Winds could gust as high as 60 miles an hour areas of the uh, lower Yukon Valley, including areas along the uh, Yukon coastline. And then coming up here for midweek, there's going to be a backdoor cold front bringing a little colder air and then some gustier winds as this high kind of reestablish itself out, out in this region of uh, northern, north central Canada. So with those stronger winds, there could be some snow, uh, blowing snow in uh, the central and east central uh, interior, including the Yukon Flats areas up toward Gobbler's Knob, north and west of uh, Fairbanks toward Tanana. And then also along the Beaufort Sea coast, New exit toward Kaktovik could see blizzard conditions uh, Wednesday into Friday as the result of those stronger winds coming in behind that system. On the weather map, we're going to be looking at, uh, oh, high pressure that's right now over this area. So that's why we've seen the clear skies over uh, the panhandle and back to the west. This deeper low uh, is going to continue to lift westward toward uh, the Kamchatka East Asian coast. And we have a front that extends ahead of it with brisk east-southeast winds here along the southwest coast up through St. Paul, down here through the lower Alaska Peninsula, eastern Aleutians. And that's all because of this high pressure uh, centered as of this afternoon over uh, the Yukon Territory. That high was as up around 1050 millibars earlier the, uh, today, uh, Monday morning. Back here, that low was down around 940 millibars, but the pressure will come up late tonight, and this is early for uh, Tuesday morning. Low, low center pressure should come up to about 940 millibars, occluded front extending out ahead of it, and then 
a 1047 high over the Northwest Territories into uh, the lower Yukon. So coming up into Wednesday, jumping ahead, uh, we're going to find that we're looking at uh, weak low pressure here entering the Gulf from the uh, coming up from the uh, North Pacific. Here's the remnants of that backdoor cold front. I accidentally erased a map because we're doing something a little different here coming up. So <laughs> trust me, there's a lot of things when you're making graphics. It's just a lot of, lot of little things then. So we're going to have this colder air coming in, brisk easterly winds, thanks to a high that's up in the Arctic Ocean. It's like around 1055 millibars. So that's why we have those stronger winds, blizzard conditions potentially along the Beaufort Sea coast. Some blowing snow here in through the east central and central interior. And then Thursday, we're going to start adding a th the third day map now. We're going to get rid of the today map and add the third, third day map because this allows for better planning purposes. So I'll have this a little better organized come tomorrow. And we have a low pressure coming up into the Gulf. Not especially strong, but it will spread some moisture along the Gulf Coast. It's going to be hard for it to cross over the mountains. There are the Kenai Peninsula, but nevertheless, right along the coast, there could be some snow or snow and rain mixed. And not an especially strong system, but here, here you have that 1054 high up there in the Arctic Ocean and an extension of the ridge out here into Northwest Canada. And th these are the brisk easterly winds that are gonna set up here across the upper Yukon Valley and uh, areas of the Beaufort Sea coast causing that blowing snow. But otherwise, generally dry weather across much of the mainland and no really big storms out there in the Bering. So here's what we expect for temperatures. Tuesday morning lows could be 40 below there at uh, Fort Yukon for some of the colder temps. Temperatures stay above freezing here along the southwest, brisk east-southeast winds uh, there, Bristol Bay, Kuskokwim Bay, Alaska Peninsula. And then temperatures on Tuesday afternoon, warmest readings are going to be again along areas of the west coast, could be a bit above freezing there at Nome, all the way up to the Bering Strait, 36 degrees. Uh, still some 40s uh, from around uh, King Salmon and Kodiak City down, extending along into the Aleutians. The Panhandle will at least see uh, clear skies again with temperatures. Many areas back up around are just above freezing, a little warmer the outer coast. You just get that benefit being near the water, 39 at Sitka. And 18 below though, uh, there at uh, Fort Yukon it, where the cold air is really set. This is the area where it's most apt to kind of hold coming up. And then for Wednesday morning, lows up there through the Yukon flats could be back down around 35 below zero. Notice the below zero temperatures here in through the central eastern areas of the interior, even uh, upper Copper River Basin. Uh, we'll start to see some teens again here in through the panhandle. Again, this high kind of resituating, reorganizing. Still readings though near freezing for lows along areas of Kuskokwim, Bristol Bay. And for Wednesday, highs maybe not quite as cold because we are going to hit the winds picking up. But again, drier air, it will be trying to build back down from the north and east as we go through the midweek period. And those winds will start to increase along the Beaufort Sea coast. So you're going to start to see more in the way of blowing snow there. And then also uh, as we go into Wednesday night, especially Thursday, the areas here of the central, east central interior. And the extended temperature outlook, uh, February 16th through the 20th, uh, temperatures will average below normal along the northwest coast, especially Seward Peninsula up through Kotzebue, uh, Point uh, Hope, Point Lay, and then out here through areas of the Panhandle, maybe a little above normal uh, for entering uh, the area around Bristol Bay and more so as you go down uh, the Alaska Peninsula into the eastern Aleutians. Near normal elsewhere, and then we might start to see a little more moisture try to creep back up into southern parts of the mainland along the Gulf Coast into the Panhandle, but drier conditions expected along and north and west of the Yukon River, so that would encompass areas like Arctic Village, Ukiavik, Kotzebue, Ambler, uh, down through Nome. So that's the way things are shaping up here once we get past mid-February.